Hey guys, it's me Max Hacker 11 and I saw a comment about uh, making uh, AI AIs that's an uh, enemy I think so I'm gonna do that right now it's on my list so let's do it so the last time we added GUI so now we're gonna add some enemies so all you have to do is first create this find the spot where the enemy will be for an instance this would be a nice place I mean this is just a test so uh, let's just uh, create a uh, go to game object and then click on create empty um, make it one inch or however you wanna say it above the ground and rename it to way point and save it like that then go to FPS models go to weapon scripts and go to auto waypoint drag it to your waypoint object and just leave it there uh, now um, you should get a W or some something like that but um, I don't know it's not on my computer right now so anyways just duplicate it and make a little triangle so it should look like this okay three waypoints you just you just copy and uh, duplicate them. okay now uh, you can make it however big you want it doesn't have to be a triangle just uh, complete a whole uh, circle or something like that so he can go like here 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 I don't know do whatever you want so that's going to be the places he's gonna walk on so this this and this now let's add the enemy what's the game without an enemy so go to uh, FPS models go to robot artwork and you'll see a few robots walk shoot run idle and a normal robot drag that normal robot over here and make sure he's at least two feet off the ground stretch him if you have to so you can see him then stretch him this way then this way okay that's a nice robot right there now uh, he has some animations here already installed so we don't need to um, worry about that uh, but he's just standing there he doesn't do anything so all we have to do is go to uh, FPS models weapon scripts drag the AI the AI animation and the character damage scripts um, now you have uh, all these scripts here the first one is a character controller so you have we don't need any of these things over here but we need radius and weight so just make it so that it's over his over his whole body you'll get this um, green stuff around him and just work on it and make it go all the way around his body like this okay so you should get something like this you know you stretch it up stretch it down I don't know whatever you want but I'll just leave it like this S so we're done with that <clears throat> now let's move on to the AI script uh, we don't really need any of these right now all we need is the target so 
the target should be set to none you have to drag the first person controller that is your character and drop him on the target because our robot now has the target and the target is our character so when he seizes us when he seizes us he will run after us and try to catch us or kill us so we're done with the AI script now let's move on to the AI animation well there's nothing much to talk about right here it's just the running animation and the walking animation so you can set the minimum running speeds I don't know however you want just do it I mean I don't know um, I'll just leave it to the default uh, character damage script um, this is hit points is how much health he has so he has 100 health when we shoot him he will his health will decrease until it's on zero and then he will die but he doesn't die normally he just disappears so we need a dead replacement and a die sound so we'll talk about that later in the next part of this video but now we've finished our robot and he should work normally let's test him out quick mm. all right he's all white right now so we have to make him so we have to add some colors to it go to fps models and robot artwork i don't know if you need this maybe your robot is already normal and not stupid like mine and we're done so let's start test out the game okay we're in so nothing strange you might get a little bit laggy yep there he is as you can see he's running in the triangular shape as we put the waypoints in so it's a little complicated to explain as you can see he goes there 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 and back there he's always running around in a circle until he seizes us and then he runs after us as you can see he's running and the sec the, at the moment we get out of his eyesight he stops running and goes back and now when we shoot him he just dies disappears nothing happens so we're gonna talk about that in the next video we're going to make him shoot and yeah see you later in the next video Max Sacra 11 signing off